Now, you can't create compelling art unless you have something to say, or at the very least are willing to explore an idea as deeply as possible. And when Jimmy Stewart from Mars creates something, that creation cannot help but be deeply spiritual and even transcendent in nature. And by the way, that brilliant moniker, Jimmy Stewart from Mars, came from the great Mel Brooks, in case you haven't heard that one before. And I'm not talking about themes of Christianity in Lynch's work or New Age mumbo-jumbo or even from the Kabbalistic sense, even though some ideas shared with the Kabbalah may be found in Twin Peaks. There are spiritual themes in Twin, Pe- in Twin Peaks which completely transcend religious doctrine. They transcend belief and even transcend meaning itself at times. Admittedly, there is also a flavor of Eastern philosophy and Buddhism here, to be sure. And while having some occult knowledge never hurts, such information is not a barrier to entry. What you will get from this series may depend on where you currently find yourself spiritually, but I certainly uh, wouldn't expect that um, this, this sort of video... Uh, should uh, be of interest to anyone who is at least interested in exploring their own psychology and their own psyche. So some of this may sound strange and paradoxical at times and perhaps even contradictory, but please understand that with Twin Peaks, just like this great mystery we call life, it is littered with paradox and open to countless interpretations. So hold on to your hats. This project brought me into areas that I couldn't possibly have imagined when I first started this strange and wonderful project. And real quick, before we get into the video, as always, if you enjoy my videos, please consider supporting my work on reinstallpaul.com. For just about 10 cents a day, you can get access to a lot more meaningful content that can't be found anywhere else on the interwebs. There is also a preview area where I've made some content available for free if you want to decide if my work will appeal to you. I've been building quite a lot of meaningful and helpful content on my website, and I'm adding new stuff all the time. And also, I want to say a huge thank you to all of my supporters, both past and present, for your contributions. Your support is appreciated greatly, and I feel so fortunate to be able to pass along some of the wisdom that I've acquired through my life. So please take a moment right now to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube or on Odyssey. And if you haven't already, please consider sharing my videos with others you feel may enjoy my work. Okay, thank you. Commercial over. (laughs) Twin Peaks is such a vast and layered piece of artistic expression that I don't think any comprehensive analysis can hope to explore every single aspect in detail. And besides, we and I continue to grow and change, hopefully, so that we, what we get out of Twin Peaks will be commensurate with where we are in our awareness and where we're growing in the areas that we are exploring in our lives. So I tend to cover a lot of ground in my work, often exploring relevant side roads, and many related topics along the way. In this case, however, I'm going to try my darndest to focus mainly on the occulted and mystical aspects of Twin Peaks, rather than purely the character or story elements, although that weighs heavily because Twin Peaks is very much a character-driven story. Now, this is probably already... uh, almost too big of a a bite to chew on as it is. 
We will also be looking at some of the origins and influential works which came before. Hopefully some of these are new discoveries for you. Perhaps they won't be as Twin Peaks is sort of like an archeological dig site in this respect. Now I really love finding previous works of both conscious and unconscious influences. So we will find some of that along the way. I've spent the better part of a year just trying to wrap my head around how exactly to even start such a massive project like this in the first place. I had no idea where this was going to lead and in certain respects, I still don't. And also, please be aware that I made a conscious decision to refer to the TV pilot as episode one. So every subsequent episode I reference will be one episode ahead of the normal order, depending on how you view the order. Despite this fact, I'm sure there will be some comments about this, as well as a few uh, factual errors it's, it's really tough to make uh, a, in any video at great length without making some errors here and there, so please forgive me. And remember, this isn't a point A to point B retelling of Twin Peaks. You can find videos on that all over the place. There's, um, uh, you know, this video is going to dig into some elements which make may make some people uncomfortable, may make some people wonder what the heck I'm even talking about, but may make another small group of you, uh, you know, give you some sort of aha moment. And that's, uh, that's where the gold is. So what sort of meaning are we to derive from experiences like Twin Peaks, if any? And what of the wonderfully strange and dark characters that inhabit this holy, fictitious town nestled somewhere in the Cascade Mountains of Washington State? What is the real significance of Twin Peaks other than capturing our interest for some time or making us feel a certain way? Regardless of what the answer may be for you, it seems that we can't help but carry a little bit of Dale Cooper in our hearts, just as David Lynch does. Having publicly stated that Agent Cooper was at least partially inspired by his own father. After all, it seems as if these characters were not created for the typical television viewer in the first place, but instead represent a high level of transcendent artistic expression, almost breathing life into some sentient being which inhabits the nebulous crawl spaces of our collective psyche. We love people like Dale for many reasons and on many levels. And the good news is we can learn to channel our own inner Dale Cooper with others should we wish to do so. Now, I'm not talking about dressing or acting like Dale on the surface level, of course. We're going to get deeper into this idea as we move into the series. Now, in an interview with the Los Angeles Times co-creator of the series, Mark Frost, remarked on one aspect that makes Twin Peaks so special. And this is what he said. He said, quote, What I love about the show is that the characters seem so real to me, and they talk about stuff that seems like stuff real people would be concerned about as opposed to characters sort of stiffly moving through a plot. We try to build into each show some sort of breathing space so that the characters can live and behave and do things off the main highway to give the sense of people having a life that extends off the edges of the screen, which I think is a rare Thing in both film and television, end quote. So I'm going to talk a lot about this idea of world building because that's what Frost is hinting at 